Dave Mazda, you just, I, I, you've been busy, man. That's the real bottom line. There's no, there's no doubt about that, man. And you can see, um, you know, we've talked about this before, but it, it's really intriguing that the whole world is kind of like coming into the whole ETF space. I mean, everything has changed pretty dramatically, hasn't it? Yeah, no, exactly right. What, what's really interesting is we know that there's been uh, ETF issuers uh, like Direction uh, creating ETFs for years, but now we're actually seeing traditional mutual fund companies enter the space. Some companies are converting mutual funds to ETFs. Others are just launching for the first time as people embrace the vehicle. And one of the reasons the vehicle has grown so much, particularly among retail investors, is that you pay the same price as an institutional investor. Whether you're buying one share, a million shares, or anything in between, you also have the benefit, generally low cost when, when, well, when doing so. Yes. And one of the real reasons is the tax efficiency. We've talked a bit about this before. ETFs have this unique mechanism to help mitigate the potential for uh, taxes to eat away at investment returns through what's called the creation redemption process. That's been one of the real drivers, in addition to the fact that ETFs are just really flexible from a trading perspective compared to buying a mutual fund just at the end of the end of the day. You know, it's amazing, uh, Dave and folks, it's amazing that it actually took this long because as Dave just says, the tax implications alone are the biggest deal because I remember so many times that you can get trapped sometimes in a mutual fund that the mutual fund itself basically lost money, but you have to pay taxes at the end of the year because it depends where you got in, right, which, which is pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, that, that's exactly right. So one of the things that uh, we say is ETFs externalize cost, whereas mutual funds internalize cost. And what's really interesting, your point about seeing, you know, what's worse than being in a down market, underperforming, and then you have to pay tax on top of it. What's, of course, really interesting here is that you think about the fact that we've been on this bull run essentially since the global financial crisis. Certainly, yes. been some hiccups, but in, even in the you know even if we look back to March of last year and the rally we've seen since then, um, there hasn't been a lot of opportunity for what's called tax loss harvesting. If I'm actively managing a mutual fund, so a lot of them are actually sitting on gains, uh, which is, which they have the potential to have to continue to pay out in subsequent years. ETFs less of a concern there, and you have the ability to kind of really pick and choose your spots and build that full portfolio on your uh, on your own. And what I mean by that is you can get broad-based exposure. You can use leverage and inverse products like direction offers to take advantage of more tactical trading opportunities or thematic products like our Moonshot ETFs and everything in between. So there's just way more options coming to market with ETFs than you've seen with mutual funds. Yeah, there's no doubt. Let, let's talk about a couple of new products that you have. You know, we talked about this one before, but this one to me is really intriguing particularly, Dave, because I, I just had to book some flights to Boston, okay? And bottom line, folks, okay, you know, Florida in the summer, most times people aren't going to Florida in the summer. Well, I was two weeks ahead of time, and I still had to pay 700 bucks a ticket, Tampa to Boston, okay? So it's like the airlines, they know what they're doing, man. There's more demand than there is supply. So what we're going to talk about here, folks, is as you go over to the direction, you're going to see right in the front page, Dave just come up with a, a daily... Uh, travel and vacation bull. Now, talk to us about this, because this is really cool. You know, I know I had looked at this, Dave, and then I'm looking at my prices, and I'm saying, and it didn't matter what deal I, I did. I tried to go into Boston. I tried to go into Providence. The bottom line is that JetBlue into Logan is still going to be 750 bucks. you know. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. So you can set aside whether it's the right or wrong thing to do. It's a supply and demand uh, issue. Yes. What we know is that right. we many people have been stuck at home, uh, either because of quarantine or not being comfortable doing so. You know, if you look at superimpose a chart of COVID cases and vaccinations, one's going down, one's going up. Let's hope that continues. But in the near term here, there's such pent up demand for people to go uh, either see their family or go on vacation. So we launched OOTO, stands for uh, essentially a play on out of the office as the ticker. It gives you exposure to companies uh, like airlines, hotel operators, also kind of lar larger entertainment companies in this space, like a Walt Disney company. Also names like Vail Resorts in there, thinking about uh, the winter and people wanting to go skiing and things of that nature. So really interesting basket, all at the forefront of a lot of these names that were held back. And if we continue to see economic reopening, uh, which of course the U.S., you know, going from kind of worst to first in kind of how we're handling COVID yes. now uh, is a real great opportunity for traders to, to, to look at amplifying their bull side.
and what Dave just said, from worst to, fir worst to first, folks, okay? You saw the journal this morning. We're number one that everyone wants to be in. Now, and when, when we're talking about OOTO, which is so cool, Dave, is that you got Airbnb in there. You got Trip.com in there from China. Uh, you got Hilton in there. I mean, you got some really, it's it spread out really nice, man. That's, that's the real bottom line. Yeah, thank you. It's a great basket again for that whole kind of travel and vacation trade, not just airlines or hotels. Absolutely. Well, listen, man, you have a great one. Have a great July 4th. We look forward to speaking in two weeks from today, Dave. Sounds good. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks.